Hey Ravens, welcome to the Raven Roundup. I'm August Bertel, bringing you updates on volleyball, football, soccer, gymnastics, and tennis. Last Thursday, the Ravens soccer team took on Shiner Mission East at Seaback. They took home a one to nothing victory with a clean sheet from, coming from John Lindsay. The game remained scoreless until overtime, but Caleb Raglan called the game with his goal. Come out and support the boys at their game tonight with Lawrence at Seaback at seven. The, the gymnastics team took fifth place last Thursday, and Brooke Elam took third place in all-around on bars and beam. On Thursday, the tennis team played in the Sunflower League tournament. The highlight of the day was Sydney Moore coming back from a 7-3 deficit to win the ninth place singles match in a tiebreaker. The rest of the team did their job too, including an eighth place finish by doubles team Mallory Brown and Jocelyn Mattingly, a 14th place finish by Emma Anderson and singles and another 14th place finish from Mariah Bedro and Elisa Castilla in doubles. The girls finished fifth overall out of 13 teams. The Lady Ravens volleyball team was back last Thursday at St. James playing Bonner Springs and the Lady Thunder. The Lady smashed the first game against Bonner Springs winning 25 to 15 at 25 to 19 following the game. The Ravens helped St. James support the Lemon out, which is their fundraiser for pediatric cancer. Following that, the Ravens took a tough loss to the Thunder in two sets. The Ravens had to do a quick turnaround playing in a round-robin tournament on homecoming day in Lawrence. The Ravens had a tough morning dropping two sets to Lawrence and a three-set loss to Blue Valley. The ladies didn't want their homecoming to be spoiled, so they came back and beat Manhattan and Blue Valley West in two sets apiece. Friday night, the Olathe Northwest Ravens faced against the Gardner Trailblazers in the annual homecoming game. The Trailblazers ended up taking the victory 35-6 despite a strong effort from the Ravens. Owen W plays again this Friday against Shiny Mission Northwest at the Shiny Mission District Stadium. That's all we have for that's all we have today, Ravens. Be sure to check in on our YouTube channel at Raven Daily and follow us on Twitter at Owen W underscore Raven Daily.